Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are checking me out for the very first time and you're interested in becoming a model, uh, you definitely want to consider subscribing because I make awesome videos on a weekly basis that you guys are going to love. All right guys, so before I get into the beef of this video, I want to tell you guys about um, a product that I recently discovered. Um, it's called Premium Jane Delta 8s. So I have to be honest, when Premium Jane reached out to me, I didn't know very much about the product and I had to look into it uh, and do some research. And I've actually found this to be quite interesting actually, and that's why I'm telling you guys about it. So first thing right off the bat, this product is not illegal. Um, it's not uh, a THC product. It's not a CBD. It's something called Delta 8, which is a pretty new concept. A couple of things to note is that Premium Jane Delta 8 products are sourced from organic hemp. So Premium Jane actually sent me two of their most popular products. So a couple of things that stood out to me about Premium Jane is the fact that their products are really great for relieving stress. Some people even would claim that their products can help them relieve their headaches as well. One thing to mention is that it contains a very, very small trace of THC. So you don't get any kind of high effects from using this product. And instead, all you're getting is the stress relieving benefits and calming effects of these products, which is great actually for people who struggle with anxiety. Um, this could be great if you're feeling anxious before a casting or a go see. Um, it's a really great way to calm your nerves. Everything about their products is completely natural, vegan, non-GMO. So I did try it. I've tried the oil and I've tried a gummy. And so far, I think this product is great. I think this is something that you could use if you're someone who gets anxious and needs to calm your nerves down. Um, these Delta 8 products by Premium Jane is definitely worth checking out. So I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested in checking out this product. And I'm going to leave that in the description box down below. All right, guys. So in this video, I want to talk about what you guys should do if you happen to get dropped by your agency. So in the previous video, I talked about uh, my experience of how uh, one particular agent dropped me. Again, I want to clear up some confusion. This happened several years ago um, and I'm, I'm currently represented. Um, but this happened way long ago and uh, I just wanted to make that clear that I'm not currently dropped. I'm signed to an agency and my agent is, uh, I believe, happy with me, hopefully. Um, so just wanted to get that out the way. So guys, so what happens if you do get dropped by an agency? All right, guys, so getting dropped by an agency is actually very common. A lot of times the agency just sort of goes ghost on you and doesn't say anything. Um, they take you off the roster. They don't communicate with you. You don't hear anything back. But sometimes, you know, in my case, for instance, an agent could be very direct and just let you know, like, hey, it's not working out. So we're going to release you from our roster. So what should you guys do if you do get dropped by an agency? Um, number one, the very first thing that you need to do is to thank them for the opportunity. Uh, thank them for initially signing you and kind of like leave the door open because the last thing you want to do is to burn bridges or to bring your emotions into it. Again, this is strictly business and you have to have a business mindset when you approach these things, right? So thank them for, for the opportunity. Don't burn any bridges because there's a chance that in the future you might get represented by that agent again or they could potentially refer you to a different agency maybe. If you burn bridges, you could get blacklisted and you'll be unable to get signed, unable to get work. The second thing you guys want to do is to dust yourself off. Just because the agents dropped you doesn't mean that you're worthless as a model, doesn't mean you can't get work or anything like that. It just means that it wasn't working out, it wasn't the right agency for you. So figure out what you guys need to do, whether you need to strengthen your book, um, whether you need to get new digitals, get new pictures, figure out why you weren't working if that was the reason they dropped you and then start your search all over again. The fact that you are already represented and you already have some experience of going to castings, going to go see, that kind of puts you ahead of models who don't have any experience at all. So keep this in mind as you guys are applying to agencies. So now you can then tell these new agencies like, hey, I was previously represented by this agency, it didn't work out, and now I'm seeking representation with a different agency, right? So this kind of gives you an advantage into the game. And then it's probably a good idea to refresh your images because if the agency drops you because they couldn't get you any work, it could be that your images are just not working. So you need a whole revamp. You need to rebrand. So get new uh, headshots in, get new body shots. Um, just sort of like refresh your book and this would give your career a new life. 
So again, guys, if you guys happen to get dropped, it's not the end of the world. There's nothing to fear. You can still get represented, um, but just make sure you understand why you got dropped. Did you get dropped because you're not getting any work? Did you get dropped because of some conflicts with the agents, like in my case, or did you get dropped because you no longer meet the measurements and requirements of a model? So make sure you guys understand this and work on that. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comment box down below. Always love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to sub if you guys are watching for the first time. I'll see you guys in the next one.